All right, ladies and gentlemen, today, we're gonna find out if an aftermarket exhaust is truly that much louder than a stock C8 exhaust. Wow, that right front tire is super low. Man, I'll tell you what, do any of you guys have problems with your tires deflating big time when it, the weather gets a little cold outside? Anyway, welcome back to Brink of Speed. My name is Mike. Thank you so much for smashing that play button today and joining us. Also, thank you to my thumbs up squad for already smashing that thumbs up button. I hugely appreciate each and every one of you. And if you're a first time watcher, welcome. Do me a favor though and smash that red subscribe button and the bell for notifications when new videos are uploaded. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do this test on the exhaust, but before we do that, we have to do this. So like I said, we had to do something first before we did the exhaust video, and that is come to Cars and Cantina here in the Colony, Texas. It's not often that I come to this show, but when I do, it's always a blast. They always have amazing cars here. And I'm walking over to the hypercar area right now to show you those. Back here we have a 765 LT. I think this is the first time I've seen one of these in person. That's beautiful. It's almost like a ceramic matrix gray. And then we've got a Metador. <laughs> What a crazy car that is. So over here we have the Jotec tent and we have quite a few Jotec cars that have shown up. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, this is a Jotec C8. So it's definitely gonna be a twin turbo setup. Let's see if we can see anything here in the back. Yes, you can. See that turbo right there? And then right there. I don't know what stage this is, but I know they have three or four different stages that you can get on these cars and uh, even their stage one is like 700 horsepower to the wheels. Ooh, look at that. I believe that is an F8 Tributo. Love the white. You guys know I love the Marcia Lagos and the GT2 RS. Another GT2 RS. Motor out. It's got a matte finish to it. Look at that. That is amazing. See what I mean about McLaren's having full Alcantara interiors? See that dash? You can see it better through the windshield. But that's full Alcantara. Just like the 70th anniversary edition C8 Corvette. This is a cool looking BMW right here. It's an M4 competition.
This is pretty sweet. What do you guys think of the Rapid Blue Camaro ZL1? Sounds so good. So I'm super excited to let you know that content from Joe Tech Motorsports is coming. I actually found out the numbers on this car. It's 600 uh, to the rear wheels. It's 700 to the engine. But they do a lot higher than that, and that's what's coming soon. That car seems tame, but it isn't. So like I said on the intro, I wanna show you guys the difference between my exhaust, the new AWE Touring exhaust, and the black tip, brand new 2023 stock C8 exhaust. But as you can see, we've got a few more C8s out here. We've actually got a Corsa Extreme exhaust on this beautiful Long Beach Red C8. And then we've got the Borla exhaust on New Horizon C8. And then we've got the track version of the Paragon Performance on Lou's Torch Red C8. So quite a treat for you guys. And then we've got the crew out here. You guys know Carlos from New Horizon C8. Darren's got a decibel meter that we're going to use to show you guys exactly how much louder from stock all uh, four of those exhausts are so why don't we get to it and Let's do it. start showing them all right so darren's gonna start his stock this is from four feet away all right go ahead so about 98 decibels there on the startup okay so that one hit 108 109 okay now we're gonna do the awe and we're about four feet away here. Yep, go ahead and do startup. So that hit 105 on the startup. And it's idling at about 103, as you can see there. Okay, go ahead and rev. Okay, yeah, so that was consistently hitting about 113 to 115. And it was idling at 103, 104. So this is the Corsa with long tubes and cat deletes. Wow. Okay, that hurt the ears and it hit about 120 on the decibel meter. 
it idled right around the same as mine about 103 104 so pretty impressive i think this next one is going to be the same this is the borla and it is the the borla attack exhaust and so it's valved right it is mpp valved yep so you're gonna you can have your quiet and loud mode is just only the uh cat back system no no mid pipes or headers done to it so it's exactly how you would get it if you just bought the borla exhaust okay mm -hmm. sweet let's do it Okay guys, this is the Borla startup. That was hitting 123 to 125. So that's a totally different sound. That actually didn't hurt my ears. It's more of a lower rumble. Um, that Corsa has more of a high pitch sound. And I think that's what this Paragon is gonna do as well. But let's see. Okay, so yeah, this is the uh, track exhaust from Paragon Performance and it's a cat back. Okay, sweet. Wow, that hit a big number starting out. So there you have it, folks. That one hit about 122, 123 on the decibel meter. So the Corsa and the Borla definitely hit the highest decibels out of all of them. But as you can see, even the AWE exhaust is still way above the stock exhaust. So that gives you a very, very clear understanding the difference between AWE touring exhaust and the full black tip new 2023 stock exhaust. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it'll help you pick which one you want. So this is the Corsa. And as you can see, it looks pretty similar to the AWE setup. Very, very similar there. And the tips are actually very similar as well. So let me show you the Borla setup. And that is interesting because this is very similar to the stock looking exhaust on a C8. And then this is the Paragon. And as you guys see, he took that center black screen out with the honeycomb on it. And wow, that looks freaking awesome. Look at that. That is a pretty exhaust. The tips on these are actually similar to the Borla tips. See that? Very nice, very nice. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I wanted to start off, first of all, by thanking people before I give you my final thoughts on the AWE exhaust. First person I want to thank is Carlos because he not only helped with his car, but he also helped with a camera behind me that allowed me to get perfect sound. If it wasn't for Carlos, I wouldn't have been able to get that great sound for you guys. So thank you, Carlos. Also, I want to thank Darren. Darren had his brand new 70th anniversary there and he actually got in every car and revved them up for us so thank you so much to Darren as you know he helps out a lot on the channel also Lou thank you so much he had his torch red c8 there with the paragon exhaust so thank you and then Josh thank you for having your long beach red c8 there with the Corsa exhaust and then last but not least obviously I want to thank Brandon at AWE Thank you so much for allowing me to review your Touring Edition exhaust. And one thing that I wanted to stress to you guys about this Touring Edition exhaust, as I stated in my last video, it does a phenomenal job of acting like it has valves. That's because they used a patented 180 technology in this exhaust. Basically, it gives it a Jekyll and Hyde performance. So when you are cruising, you get a sophisticated and classy sound. But when you get on it, you get a devilish war cry. And that's probably the best way to explain this AWE Touring exhaust. But I really am blown away by the 180 technology and how it works. It is pretty incredible how when you're just driving normal, it sounds like you've turned it to tour mode. And then when you get on it, it sounds like you're in sport mode. So 
Thumbs up to you guys, AWE. You guys have done a fantastic job with this Touring version exhaust. If you want to know more about that 180 technology, click the link in the description below and it'll give you all the info about that. So here's my final thoughts. I really, really like this new exhaust and I'm not kidding. The more and more that I drive it around, the more it grows on me and I have pretty much forgotten all about what Army Tricks sounded like because this exhaust truly is a fantastic system. And again, I really, really like pretty much all the tones that I'm getting from the lowest to the highest and in between. And I really do like the new look of the tips as well and the new look of the whole system underneath the car. So I would highly recommend it. All those out there who are saying they have to have the valve system, trust me, you don't need it. Again, the only time that it's super loud is on startup and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Ladies and gentlemen, have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you guys out on the road.